I know a few of you have been asking, Dansby, where the heck are your videos? And truth of the matter is, guys, is that I have not really been enjoying this game the past week or so. I don't know what is going on. I was originally thinking that the game was just like really, really laggy and, you know, something to good with servers and, you know, things will get better and it just hasn't been. But I've been noticing things. I've been playing like some CPU games lately and the same stuff is happening to me over and over again where I'm having difficulty putting like my reticle on pitches and I'm thinking that there actually might be something up with my controller. Now I'm thinking about it, my controller seems a little less responsive than than usual. I reset my controller and then I noticed that it stopped doing it and then it started doing it again after maybe about a half hour playing. So I think there's something going on with my controller which would actually explain a lot. It seems that like it's not going where I want it. It seems to be lagging behind including my, my buttons. It's not like a giant, you know, a giant latency but it's enough latency where it's causing me to miss. Okay, that's one thing I've noticed. Like right here, I have runners on second and third, with uh, with nobody out here. And uh, you know, so right there we got what we 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 first two guys here. We pop out. So it's up to our, our boy uh, Melvin. Don't call me BJ Upton, and he's intentionally walked to get to Reggie Jackson. And I was so tempted here to throw in Matt Holiday. I was so tempted. I was like, it's the first inning. Let me just keep him in. And I was late. And the whole thing is that I don't feel I'm late. Like, I don't feel I'm late when I'm actually playing, but when I'm watching these things back, I can absolutely tell that I am late on these things. I'm not squaring things up. I'm just really, really confused to what is actually happening. So, I wound up using another controller. I have three PlayStation controllers right now, three PS4 controllers, and unfortunately, all three of them are broken in some way or another. So, one of my controllers, the F left analog stick, it kind of, like, jumps up and down a lot, so it makes it impossible to, to like, especially pitch. It makes it really, really frustrating because you could be on a spot and then you hit the X button to pick that spot and then it jumps as you hit X and now it's in a totally different spot. So that's really annoying. Then we have my blue controller now, which is my newest controller, which seems just to be, you know, fractions of a second, like, unresponsive now. And also, like, it seems to be too sensitive. Maybe if I get myself a control freak, that can help. It seems to be, like, super, super sensitive to, to the touch now. And I don't know if I can fix it. There's no sensitivity control in this game, so I can uh, fix it like that. So that's getting really frustrating as well. And then I have another another con controller that the right trigger goes all the time. Put that in into a game, and my guys, my defenders, just start diving all over the place. So I can't win right now, and I don't really want to buy another controller again. I just bought this last controller. Like, actually, I bought it right before the show came out, maybe two weeks before the show came out. So I've had it for maybe two months at this point. So it's like, do I want to spend another forty dollars? And is that the issue? I don't know. But what I do know is that I've been <laughs> been really frustrating playing this game, and and it's it's been offline too. So that's why I'm I'm realizing that it's not the game with me being late or not being able to square up pitches. It's something it's something else. It's something else. Either just in a week, my reactions have gone down crazy amounts, which makes no sense. So I'm gonna just rule that out that I can't uh, catch up to 88 mile per hour fastballs by Chris Young anymore on Rookie. So that's just, you know, weird considering, you know, you guys watch my videos, you see what I can normally uh, square up. And even if you watch this video, things just did not look right with me. And my next, new f my next few videos as well, things just don't look right with me. I'm not able to like center things or I'm, I'm constantly late on these things when, when I'm normally not. Generally people get me with off speed stuff. They're not able to, uh, and I get thrown out here. Don't get me wrong, this was a stupid move. I, probably, I guess I slid the wrong way that time. I hit the joystick the wrong way. That stunk, though. But, uh, yeah, so it's really why I haven't been posting any videos as of late over the last few days. I, mean, I don't think I've posted since, uh, like, Friday, I believe. And it's mainly because um, I haven't really been having fun with the game. When I'm not having fun, I don't want to post. I don't want to be, like, a you know, stick in the mud, you know, every time I make a video. Although I, I think I've been doing a pretty good job not doing this. So this player was a pretty good player. This player was a... Uh, Championship series, I think he was ranked 830, and coming into this game, I had lost two games in a row, and Dustin Pedroia here takes one off the outside corner for a freaking home run. I was super pissed at that home run, by the way, too. I was like, are you going to tell me that he took that off the outside third of the plate? Dustin Pedroia, of all people, with like his 58 power against righties, and against a, against my sinker bowler, and took that out? You know, I, I was not, not none too pleased. None too pleased about that. You know, and I was like, I'm gonna lose this game one nothing because I can't hit all of a sudden, and that that's pretty much how I've been feeling. My um, so in the past week, 
my batting average was a 360 overall online. In the past week, it's dropped all the way down to, I believe, a 303 currently right now. It's really bad. And, and the, other re the other time I realized where there's something wrong with my, um, with my controller is how hard it's been for me to pitch lately. I cannot get the timing correctly. I'm always like just late or just early. I can't seem to get it. It does. It just does not feel right to me. And I'm also noticing when I'm moving my outfielders in the outfield, they seem to be moving like a little bit after afterwards, especially like when you're like camped underneath the ball. Sometimes I just like to center my guy and I go left and right. And I can see it's not going with what I'm doing, you know. And when those things are happening, when you can notice it, there's something going on. I'm pretty sure there's some latency going on with my, with my with my controller, I think there's something wrong with it. I don't know if there's maybe some interference, some Bluetooth interference or something like that. I don't know, but there's something going on. It's BJ Upton, I mean, don't call him, and Melvin, don't call me BJ Upton, is able to get another hit. He had a BJ, had a really, really hit BJ. But Melvin Upton had a very, well, I guess we could call this one BJ, because this is the flashback, had a really big game this game. He was pretty much on base the entire game, you know, coming up in big spots trying just to turn the lineup over this guy is you know playing some small ball here and he's uh i'm trying to do something with uh he, he, he you know he, he walks i put in daniel murphy for for kinsler and he actually walks him so i got uh using uh yadi Molina here who was playing up this day he was playing up like an 88 in his contact it was like a 90 something against righty so i was like screw it, let me just put him in here because i haven't been had having too much luck with live series jonathan lucroy or gary sanchez as of late so i was like let me just try something different. So that G Giovanni Soto, I haven't been playing too well with either, so I'm, I'm just like, let me try something different. We'll put some guy in contact here. And he gets a little wild pitch here, and once again, I got runners in second and third. Second and third again, but this time, and, and with less than two outs. So it's like, all I need to do is drive a ball to the outfield. That's all I need to do. You know, so I'm hoping the Yachty can do it. He goes in inside, brushes me off the plate. I'm actually looking for a breaking ball at this point. I think that's what he's going to try to do. And he totally misses his spot again. And puts me on. I guess he was like, it was an unintentional, intentional walk. So I'm like, all right, who am I going to put in here? I want to see who he had in the bullpen. I was going to bring in Tony Gwynn. I was like, he's going to probably bring in a lefty then. And I'd rather have the pitcher that's out here already because he's tired. He's already thrown 12 pitches a little bit. You know, and he just walked the guy. His confidence is low. I don't want him to actually take him out. So that's why I decided to put in Buddy Bell, who more or less is, you know, contact-wise and power-wise is very similar to Tony Gwynn anyway, just from the left side. I mean, from the right side. I was like, screw it, we'll use Buddy Bell right here. And Buddy Bell hopefully could uh, come up big for us and at least get a ball of the outfield to tie this freaking game up. Even though, I think he's Hunter Strickland here. I have a lot of difficulty facing Hunter Strickland, especially recently, like I'm saying, this past week, guys, has been really, uh, this is why I kept him in. Because I want him to keep his guy in, because I knew he was going to be tired really soon. And uh, I don't make, uh, <laughs> not a good at bad. Like you can see, I'm, I'm late on everything. I could not square anything up this entire game, and I've been having issues this past week. I think online I'm like four and four and seven. I have a little bloop here. Kinsler is not able to catch it. He goes to try to turn two. He is unable to and we tie up this bowl game. Very next bat we got Trey Turner here. He goes into his menus here. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. He probably should have taken uh taken Strickland out, but he decides to keep him in and I'm ready. First pitch. Ah uh, nice slider and I'm able to rip it up the middle. I was I was hoping he was giving me a slider because I was not catching him that fastball whatsoever. We're able to take Damn, Lita, we got the Grandy Man up here seeing if he could do anything else. He just uh, sends a nice little uh, fly ball out to right field. A little tease there. I thought at the, at the off the smack of the bat, the crack of the bat, I was able to uh, get a hit there, but unfortunately it was not. It was not to be. So we have we bring in uh, Jerry's Familia over here. We haven't been using much, but he was playing up this day, I think to a 90, actually. He's like a plus, uh, plus five that day. So we're able to uh, get the little pop out there to the catcher. And uh, who, who is that? Yadi is able to get it. We're able to get a strikeout. We didn't have many strikeouts in this game. It's one, another reason why we just kind of like fast forwarded this. It was just a, a lot of non-hitting, a lot of boring uh, gameplay. Unless you like uh, watching uh, pitchers duels with no strikeouts. That's pretty much what this game was. So David leads off this inning, and I'm ripping it hard, but I'm ripping it right at the third baseman. I didn't believe it was Jose Ramirez. We've been getting a lot of that lately, too, guys. Like the, the good swings and just, you know, nothing, nothing happened. I was early on that one. We got Kyle Seeger here, and once again, he goes to the breaking ball. Doesn't make sense. Kyle Seeger is able to get us an insurance run. The, in the limited opportunities that, that I've given Kyle Seeger on days where uh, what's his face is playing down, Freeman is playing down, he has made the most of it. And we got uh, Melvin Upton Jr. here. First pitch. Bada bing, bada boom. 
game over pretty much because this guy decides to quit right here. Alright guys, do me a favor, you enjoyed this commentary, leave me a like and some comments. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and hopefully I will catch you guys soon. Later.